So Ned Leonard, it's great to see you back in the Nets. How did that feel? Yeah, really good. Uh, really nice to be back in around the lads and, and playing cricket, um, which is really nice. Obviously, I'm a six months out. Um, so, yeah, just really enjoying hitting balls and bowling again. Must have been so frustrating for you to have that time out of the game, you know, when you're so close to making that breakthrough. Yeah, it, it is frustrating. Um, but but now, kind of looking looking ahead to next season, trying trying to just be the best I can be, really. Um, trying to bowl fast, trying to hit as many balls as I can, just doing everything that I can do to be back and ready for next year. How difficult is it sort of managing your workload? Obviously, with after such a long time out of the game, I imagine you want to be getting back and hitting balls and bowling balls. Have, have the guys uh, in the SNC and, and the science and medicine department been making sure that you just take it a little bit easy? Yeah, definitely. Um, so at the moment, I can only bowl four overs, and I'm doing that twice a week, um, at very low intensity. Uh, just trying to trying to not go overboard with it. Um, obviously, my, my back's fully healed now, so just kind of building up, building up. We've obviously got a week off at Christmas, but we're still going to try and tick over there. What are your plans for the next few weeks? Obviously, breaking up for Christmas and then, then back into it at full intensity in, in January, February? Yeah, so, so yeah, we've got Christmas, obviously, and then, then in January we will be back in again, hopefully loading a little bit more, bowling a little bit more. Um, Hitting, carry on hitting balls. Uh, Obviously, we've seen the fixtures been published. It's it's the first step on the road to the the summer. Can you believe how quickly it's come around again? Yeah, it's it's felt really fast. Um, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Um, I think we we start. We've got our first preseason game in March. So that's that's only three months. Where I think we I saw something the other day that was only 100 days until our first game. So that's that's going to fly by. I can't wait. What are you hoping to achieve in 2023, both yourself and as an individual, and with the club? Yeah, well, obviously, as a club, we, we want to win the county championship, win as many trophies as we can, but that county championship is really what we can do. We've got such a such a strong squad. Um, so, yeah, hopefully bring that back. As, as an individual, I think just just bowl, bowl as fast as I can, take as many wickets as possible, um, and then hopefully I'd, uh, bring some runs on the board as well, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, that that's kind of where I want to be. Are you the sort of player that, that sets themselves individual targets over the season or do you prefer to take it one game at a time? I think just take it one game at a time. I think just uh, I love playing cricket, so doing that is, is, is brilliant. So being able to do that consistently is, is what my aim is at the moment. Um, just carrying bowling fast, trying to take as many wickets as possible. Um, so that, that's kind of where I want to be at the moment. We've seen the emergence once again this year of some exciting young players. We've got some, you know... Older players, if you like, but we've also seen some good signings that the club have made. 2023 could be a, an interesting year for Somerset, shouldn't it? Yeah, it, it should be really good. We've also got Sonny's in his second year, Alfie's, Alfie Ogborn, He's uh, I've seen him play at Bridgewater for, for the last year or so, I've kind of grown up whilst he's been playing with me as well. He's so he's really exciting, left arm bowler, swings it swings it a lot. Um, I, I reckon he could bowl fast as well. Um, we've also got Shoeb as well coming in. Uh, right arm off spinner when he played for the second team he bowled really well um, so that would be good for him as well and potentially a, a lot of runs coming into the side with the likes of Sean Dixon and Tom Kelly Cadmore yeah exactly um, I've had some time with, with Tom Kelly Cadmore um, and he's been he's been brilliant he's trained exceptionally hard obviously doing really well overseas at the moment Sean's just come in I've kind of had your conversation with him um, but yeah hopefully chucking some more runs on the board so we can try, try and bowl them out as fast as possible I guess and just finally, have you got a, a message for our, our members and supporters ahead of Christmas? Well, have a good Christmas. <laughs> but just come down, carry on, carry on supporting us. We really appreciate it.